In this video, we're going to talk about the best way to bubble for the ACT science test. In a previous video, we mentioned that most students don't go into the ACT with a specific strategy for bubbling, and this can hurt their performance. Most students, when they bubble, they pick an answer, circle it in their test book, then fill in the bubble on their answer sheet, and then go on to read the next question. Again, there are two problems with this approach to bubbling. First, it messes up your flow for the test by constantly taking your attention off of the test and onto your answer sheet. And second, it opens up the door to making huge bubbling mistakes if you skip a question, which we recommend doing freely on the science test your first time through each passage. If you skip a question and keep bubbling in one choice at a time, you might find later on that all of your bubbles are one number off, which would be disastrous for your score. So to solve these two problems with the traditional method for bubbling, here's what we recommend for how you should bubble for the ACT science test. For the ACT science test, circle your answers for all of the questions for one passage first, and then bubble in all of these answers on your bubble sheet at once. This means that you'll be bubbling in five, six, or seven questions at once. This will both allow you to focus completely on each passage as you're working on it, as well as help you make sure that you're bubbling in the numbers correctly. This strategy works because instead of constantly dividing your attention between the test and the answer sheet, you instead focus completely on the test and then focus completely on the bubble sheet, which will eliminate both distractions and mistakes. Also, the time you spend bubbling between passages can be a short break and breather before you start doing the next passage. There's one exception to our recommendation though. When you hear the five minute warning, start bubbling in your answers one at a time to make sure that you don't run out of time before you bubble in all of your answers. So now, with all of these strategies for the ACT science test, you are ready to get the most out of the ACT science practice test that you take. As you take these practice tests, try to apply the strategies that you've learned and after each practice test that you take, analyze the practice test and ask yourself, what areas can I improve in for next time? Did I miss something that I know I should have gotten right or that I'll definitely get right next time? Then take the next practice test with your answers to these questions in mind. Okay, so it's time to start taking ACT science practice tests. Use the ACT science guided practice section of this course to gradually build up your abilities for the ACT science test. Thanks for watching and I will see you there.